Hello everybody and welcome back to another speed build. I am Sully Simming if you are new here. So today's speed build, I am very happy about that I'm like, I did this. Uh, it was frustrating, but I'm happy with the outcome. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm happy with the outcome. I did a boho apartment uh, or bohemian apartment, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this apartment. <laughs> so... I did the entire first floor, which you will see, I'm doing the living room right now. I did it all, and I didn't like it. Like, I hated it. Like, I love boho style. I love it so much. But this apartment gave me so much trouble having to do it. And, like, I didn't know how to do the living room. So eventually, you'll see me go upstairs and do the first bedroom and probably the laundry room. And then I just stopped to eat lunch. And then, like, you'll see me do the entire first floor over. Or not the entire first floor over again the entire living room over again and I revamped the kitchen a little bit like I redo some things in the kitchen that I didn't like the entire living room we get to make over so what you're seeing right now that doesn't say I could just cut it out but no I'm not cutting it out <laughs> I am keeping it in because I don't know I don't know why I'm keeping it in. I just feel like it I'm kind of lazy to cut it out that's why <laughs> but yeah I also redid the bathroom, so then I'd be cutting out two different things. But I redid the downstairs bathroom. So this house is two bedrooms. So um, I it's two. One of them isn't necessarily a kid's room. I it's I pictured kind of like an artist sim. I mainly pictured it being a female sim, but it could be a male sim. I just imagine it. I like I actually think I might use this in like my real life gameplay, which is weird because I never use my speed builds in my real life gameplay. But, um, like, I pictured a female sim maybe living here, uh, alone, but, so there's two bedrooms, so I was thinking maybe one would be a guest bedroom, and I designed it as a guest bedroom, because, like, there's a bathroom down the hall that, like, seems like it could be a guest bathroom, but it could also be a room for roommates, and you could completely destroy the other room and make it a family apartment, that's, that's a possibility too. But the way I imagined it was, like, a single sim, or maybe even, like, roommates, but, I don't know. So, I... I I, I really like the way the apartment came out at first when I was building this. I thought it was ugly. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. My brother just walked in my room. But I was talking about how I thought this apartment was really ugly at first. Because all this, like, the building, like, I built the living room and I just couldn't get it right. And I wasn't inspired to do things and all that stuff. But <laughs> eventually I redid it and I actually made it so I liked it. What made me want to redo it is because... I did the upstairs bedroom and the laundry room and then I went downstairs and redid it and that was because I did the upstairs bedroom and I was like oh my gosh I love this and then I was like I don't want to love the bedroom and hate the rest of it so I was like maybe I should just go in and like redo the downstairs and I ended up doing that so <laughs> I do end up deleting all of this except for that shelving unit you just saw me do and the little painting uh so yep and also another thing uh two of the bathroom the guest bathroom and the downstairs bathroom or the bathroom upstairs in the hallway and the downstairs bathroom the sinks are unfunctional <laughs> i just want to clarify that but there are sinks that are functional in it but in the apartment just those aren't uh another thing is this house is up on the gallery if you guys want to download it my name is pinky Minaj. uh I think it's just Pinky Minaj. Uh, I know it's weird. I I should change it, but I just haven't. Uh, you can find like how it's spelt and everything in my description of this YouTube video, so you can go check it out. It is uploaded as a room, so there since it's a two floor apartment, I uploaded as three separate rooms, a balcony level one and level two. So if you go to my gallery, you'll be able to see all three of those up public, so you can put them in your game if you want. But you have to get all three of them together, so it's like. Um, so, yeah, so, like, level one, you'd put on level one, and since I uploaded it as a room, I had to delete all of the walls, or not all of the walls, wait, I had to delete one wall above the doors, I don't know if you, you you'll probably see it, like, what I'm talking about when I, when you, if you download it, but, like, I had to delete one wall of all the doors, above, above all the doors, so you'll just have to put that back if you do download the house. Um, which sucks that apartments have to be uploaded that way, but it is what it is. At least we can upload them. Um, so yes, if you do download it. Another thing I suggest is putting down the balcony first, because there is like a fence wall that if you put down the balcony at last will probably replace one of your walls. So I suggest putting down the balcony last <laughs> if you want it. So, um, 
yes, that is the 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 if you want to download oh another thing if you want to download it sorry i just remembered this if you want to download it, it it so place it in the apartment i don't know how to explain this i forgot which district this is in i probably should have i think it's the rich one i it's if you're looking at san Shuno in map view it's the bottom left one like area and it's the two floor apartment you'll probably be able to like recognize it by the looks and um, by the looks, what by by like the shape of it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. The shape. I don't know um, how else to tell you where it is, but yeah, that's where it. That's my best way of telling you where it is. So that's all the information that you need for downloading it. Like apartments are. I I just wanted to make a disclaimer if you want to put this in your game, and I surprisingly want to put this in my game and play with it because I never. It's good though that I want to play with it because like. I, I still, like, I usually just build a separate home. I'm like, oh, these people need a home. Build them it. instead of, like, oh, I have a two-bedroom house. Just use that that I built from a speed build. So, like, I, I would actually use this. And I'm just impressed with myself. I'm not, like, bragging. Like, oh, I did a great job. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying, like, I'm happy with the way it came out. Because, like, usually I like the way my speed builds come out, obviously. But um, I don't like play in them choose to play in them just because i don't know i make them for you guys to play in um or you, at least you guys to watch but also like i upload them in case you guys want to play in them and stuff um so this one i might oh i forgot to play test it i was gonna play test it that was really random but if you want to play in it it's not play tested um <laughs> uh that that kind of sucks but um I forgot, I was like building the bedroom upstairs and I was like, can your sims actually use this? And I was like, I'll just go through and play test it. And then I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I. So if you want to play in this, you'll have to play test it yourself, I guess, and rearrange some things. Like there's a bedroom in the like room that I call the guest room or could be the second bedroom. Um, it kind of, there's like the dresser is really close to the bed, so I don't know if you'd be able to like get in there and like actually sleep but you can sleep on one side of the bed but if two sims are sleeping in there it, it wouldn't work out um yeah so oh another thing i don't know if you saw the plant that i just put on the shelf uh it's it's the one on the top shelf that's not in the pot or not it doesn't have flowers on it it's like really spiky and green i use that in almost every single room i just i love it a lot and it really like seems boho to me i don't know i like to a lot though and I used it a lot another thing is I looked up a lot of inspiration on Pinterest and I, I know a lot of it I noticed had like white walls and like because my view of it I love the boho like bo bohemian and boho themed things it's just beautiful to me but um in like from what I see it as is like uh like you paint your walls or your walls are white you can do so much with the rest of the room like with the boho theme i feel like a lot of the almost everything i found the walls were pure white but <laughs> um that kind of but there was a lot of a lot of it was very plain but there was a lot of pops and like very fancy patterns i that's my best way of describing it is very fancy patterns very complex and like detailed patterns were in it like the a lot of the rugs were very patterned that's my best way of describing it but the walls were white and there was some colors and stuff and a lot of plants that's that's kind of what i got from looking up these seams and at first i was really trying like my, I, I think i was trying too hard to make it boho and in the second go i kind of just built something that i liked i don't know it's kind of like the way i regularly do it um instead of trying to do trying too hard i guess yeah so yeah that was kind of it um, uh, I'm trying to think of some other stuff I wanted to say, because I, while I was building this, I was coming up with a whole bunch of stuff to say. Um, but yeah, I, in the kitchen, um, what was I going to say about the kitchen? Oh yeah, there's a little office area, and on the shelves, one of the things when I go back and change the kitchen, one of the things I change is the shelves, because there is so much clutter on it right now, and I didn't like it. Ooh, this is a bedroom I like. I use the seasons, and there's kind of a lot of white in it, but, you know, bo boho-themed things have a lot of white. Like, I, ba I based the bedrooms off of rooms I found on Pinterest, because uh, I kind of, like, struggled with the bedroom themes, because I usually put, I don't know, I, I was just trying to find, like, inspiration, so I kind of, like, 
really, really was inspired by something on Pinterest. Same with an area in the laundry room. There's that plant on the, the, the right bedside table. I use that plant. That's the plant I use way too much <laughs> in this build. Uh, yeah, it's, but I like it a lot and I'm going to be using it in future builds and I pro it's probably going to be a problem. Like me using that so much is probably going to end up being a problem because I'm going to literally have every single house with that one plant, that spiky plant that when I shrink it, I love it a lot. I don't know. It reminds me of a succulent, but also not. I, d I really don't know what I like about it so much, but I do. I like, I like something about it. I, there has to be something I like about it for me to keep on using it. I also do, there's not much color in this bedroom, but there's like that peachy in the curtain, peachy? That peachy color in the curtain, curtains that I like a lot, and I also love those curtains that came with Seasons. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love them a lot. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it, they're, they're so cute, and like there's a purple color, and the white swatch is just amazing. I didn't do white though, because there's already enough white in that room. I also redo this bathroom. Um, yes. Ooh. I also just realized, or I just remembered, that I haven't done the thumbnail for this. I'm pre-recording this. This is next week's video, but it's actually the week before you're seeing this. Um, well, I mean, for you guys, it's not next week's video. For, for me, it is. And um, it... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. And I pre-recorded this, and I was just... It was a mess, because I just wanted to get it done with. And I was like, oh, an apartment. I wouldn't have to do the outside. And it took me all day. I, I've been doing YouTube all day. I mentioned this in last week's video because I recorded, I actually recorded the voiceover that for that earlier today, but I, oh my gosh, I didn't think, I didn't think that the speed build would actually get to me because like this pre-recording hasn't been that bad for me yet because like I, I don't mind doing extra let's plays and all that stuff, but I, honestly, it's just like, <laughs> I did the speed build and it broke me, it didn't break me, but it, it got to me um, with doing uh, doing these pre-recordings. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, <laughs> uh, I also discovered su discovered subway tile in The Sims 4. Like, I didn't know there was subway tile in The Sims 4, which sounds stupid, but I checked the brick section because I thought maybe there was something that looked like subway tile because I immediately elim eliminated the pro ooh, the concept of subway tile being in The Sims 4 for some reason when I was looking for it once. But there is subway tile, and ugh. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm going to be using that a lot, too. You guys, I'm just so happy that there's subway tile in The Sims 4 and that plant. Oh, I've discovered a lot doing this build. I don't know if you didn't notice, but <laughs> I discovered some stuff while doing this build. And it's so cute. Oh, also, in the new version of the bathroom you'll see me doing right now, I use this, I use wood in the bathroom. And it's, I'm kind of pretending that it's like, you know, there, you know that fake wood that's like, uh, it's actually tile, but it really looks like wood. I'm pretending it's that. Which, it's The Sims, so I don't really need to pretend that it's, like, it's actually tile and not wood. Because in The Sims, wood isn't ruined by water. And not all wood floors are ruined by water, but a lot of wood floors can be ruined by water. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm just pretending that it's actually tile that looks like wood. <laughs> um, so yes. Or maybe that's the stuff that gets ruined but no I don't think it would be anyways um <laughs> that was a weird disclaimer oh here I go deleting the entire living room see I delete everything but that shelving thing and that wall lamp I forgot about the wall lamp but I do I use these seasons couches that I eliminated at first but then I found this white swatch and there's a lot of white in here but I love it a lot and I really wanted to do a pop of color with the rug which I tried to do, but I kind of ended up using that rug, which I used kind of a lot in this build, but not a lot. It's got, like, red on it, so it's close enough to a pop of color. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, I love the living room a lot, you guys. I still don't know which room I'm going to do in the thumbnail. Like, I don't know if I'm going to use the living room in the thumbnail. I have three rooms that I could use. I could use the kitchen, the living room, and the bedroom, because those are the ones I took screenshots for using. But I really, I don't know which room. I might do... I'm debating... I don't know, because the living room and the bedroom have a lot of white, but I feel like the kitchen isn't a good display of the boho style that I did in this build. Um, but who knows? You will you guys already know what I've... Actually, that yeah, you guys already know what I've chosen. I don't. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll see. Um, uh, I, 
I tried to restrain myself from using that plant in the living room, and then I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm using it. I was like, I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna use it. And then I used it. Um, so, you know. Uh, oh, I also love that light bulb lamp, which it's kind of rustic. I feel like this house is a, or house, apartment is also kind of rustic-ish, but, um, it's, it, it, it's a lot of bohemian too. I love that. I feel like bohemian, I already discussed this, has a lot of white in it, but it has also, I don't want to say a modern touch, but kind of. Sometimes it can have like modern objects, so that that that, that, that TV stand is kind of modern-ish. If That's kind of like the modern I'm talking about, where it's a little bit, it's not as like old-fashioned and like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> It, you know, yeah, of course you do. I'm, uh, I'm also happy because I did, like, a style-themed build, which I don't usually do, but I decided to do with this. Um, I, I, and I want to do more in the future. Like, I have a plan for another house that I want to do a rustic ranch-style home. I don't know, I've been thinking about that. I actually thought about that. I was going to bed one night, and I was just like, what if I did this? I think of a lot of YouTube things at night. Oh my gosh, especially now that it's summer, I, like, stay up late, so... I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule because I sort of ruined it. Every summer I ruin my sleep schedule and I go to bed at like 11 and wake up at, or 2 in the morning and wake up at 11 in the morning and it's not good. Uh, but this summer I haven't completely ruined it yet and I don't want to, but it's sort of to the point where I'm not going to bed until 11. So it's like I'm going to bed at 11, which isn't as bad as 2 in the morning, <laughs> but I'm waking up, um, Sometimes I wake up later, but sometimes I set an alarm. I'm trying to fix it anyways. Uh, but I, so I'm trying to sleep, go to sleep earlier. So it takes me a little bit longer to go to sleep. And I think about the like different video ideas. And I just thought of like this one, one time, like rustic, um, ranch. And I was like, that would be cool. I also think of a lot of things about my generations. Like, oh my gosh, I think about my generations all the time while I'm going to sleep and it just makes me so excited for their future. Like I have plans for Simone. Now I can plan about little um, Carmen. Yes, you guys have seen that video. I was about to be like, did I just spoil it? Because <laughs> I'm doing pre-recording so this video... Yeah, the, the Car that part has gone up and like I'm just... I can plan about what he's gonna be like and I, I already have plans for Mason. Mason's kind of like the, the first... Mason's the first child but he's not like, oh, he's the forgotten first child but like I don't, I usually don't plan out what my sims life are going to be, um, I used to have, like, you're going to be in this skill and you're going to work hard on this ever since you're a child, you're going to dress like this, you're going to do that, which is kind of like, not like stereotypes, but kind of, kind of, a little bit, but, <laughs> not stereotypes though, but it's kind of like grouping my sims, um, so, then I, now I just don't give them a skill and then it's like, they're teenagers or adults and I'm like, what are they going to do? So I want to start kind of like a mix of planning and also maybe not like forcing them into this one group. But I do want Carmen to be athletic because he had the athletic trait. And I don't know quite yet for Simone actually, but I have plans of what she's going to wear when she's a child, which sounds weird, but I got new store stuff and I was like, she's wearing it <laughs> for kids. It's, it's all exciting. Um, but yes, it's, oh, you guys, I'm just thinking about it now and getting excited about that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Although now I have Mason as a cook. Now I'm talking about my generations on a speed build. What am I doing? I also have this extra room, but it was like, because I didn't want the balcony to lead off the guest room, which is what I originally had the floor plan as, but then I was like, no. So um, I made this little room. I also felt like if it didn't have that like archway, it would be weird because it would be like, the hallway would be super weirdly shaped, but you know, whatever. Um, it, it looks fine. So I did this. Um, <laughs> it's also kind of not very boho yikes <laughs> i didn't kind of fit the theme in there i kind of just threw together something the carpet is i used a lot of laundry day stuff because i love laundry day stuff because it has that rustic -y vibe it's more rustic than boho but it's kind of boho rustic things and bohemian style is very very similar at least what i've seen i'm not like an expert at this but from what i've seen it's very similar i also did this cute thing on the balcony you see me doing right now it's like a little garden thing and it's super cute i like it a lot um <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm just a little biased about liking it. Um, 
did I just say I don't know about you, but I, like you're like you're gonna be biased? No, I meant to say I don't know about you, but I like it. I'm just a little biased. I mixed up my words there. I'm talking way too fast, getting too excited. My throat's kind of getting dry, but you can't tell. Oh my gosh, in the townie makeover, my voice was so dry and cracky that that was way last week, but it was earlier this morning for me. <laughs> But it was so dry and cracky. And in this video, it's nice, sort of fresh. I should still take a sip of water because my throat is really dry. But I feel like it'd be weird. Oh, I'm talking too fast. <laughs> I need to slow down. This is the guest bedroom. Oh, another thing I like about the guest bedroom is it's got, like, this pink theme. Like, it's very, very white. But it's got, like, a little bit of a... I, I wouldn't say it's not gold, but it's kind of like a rose goldy type of color, but it's not exactly gold. You'll see it in the carpet. It looks really cute. I had struggles with the carpet because I sized up this furry one and I couldn't grab it. And then it took me longer in real life than it did on the video. <laughs> see that? You can see it's kind of like meh. Um, oh my gosh, we're in screenshots. Oh, this video is backed up. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been talking so off about everything. I hope you all like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, I post videos every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I will see you all on Monday? Bye, everybody. No, tomorrow. Bye, everybody. <laughs>